Well, hey there, folks. I'm meteorologist Matt Barentine. TGIF. It looks pretty good for us the rest of the evening. You got some plans? Shouldn't have any issues. Headed out to a movie or something. Temperatures will be in the 80s. It'll be mild and muggy for the rest of the evening, but otherwise pretty quiet. No other major problems out there. Let's look ahead to tomorrow, of course, Saturday. Hopefully, you have some plans for your weekend. And if you're making plans, make them to be somewhere on the water or by the water, getting in the water because it's going to be smoking hot, as you would imagine, well up into the 90s in the afternoon. Very hot throughout the day. Lots of sunshine. Make sure you wear plenty of sunscreen. Stay hydrated. All that good stuff throughout the day. You can see the morning temperatures will start out in the 70s. By lunchtime, we're going to be in the low 90s. Second half of the day, our temperatures will be uh, hitting the mid to upper 90s in the afternoon. So, you know, it, it is the, what we've been expecting, what we've been seeing just continues to happen. Continues to be very, very hot. And that'll be the case all the way through this upcoming weekend. Let's hit the tropics because we do have some issues going on. Of course, Debbie is going up to uh, Vermont, so we're not too concerned about that one anymore. We're continuing to watch a new tropical wave out in the middle of the Atlantic. It hasn't developed yet, but we do anticipate that it will as it moves towards the Caribbean. You can see that 60% development chance is getting pretty high at this point, so we're likely to see this one developing here in the coming week. Now, it'll take a while to develop. I'm running the future cast just a full week out here, just letting it go so we can see this thing as it develops and works its way up towards the Bahamas and towards the east coast of Florida. Now, where does it go from there? No, no one knows as at this point. OK, we'll have to keep an eye on it. Could it work its way into the Gulf? It's certainly possible. Could it turn its way up the east coast of Florida? That is certainly possible, too. So we're just going to have to keep an eye on things, keep an open mind and just track that here for the next little while. And then we're also going to have to keep an eye on the coast of Africa, because at that point here next week, this is next Friday, the 16th, we're going to start seeing multiple tropical waves starting to come off of the African coastline. And we're going to start to see the action really picking up as we move into the second half here of the month. And reason why is because basically all the conditions are, are essentially perfect for tropical development at this point, and things are going to start opening up. And we're going to start seeing a, a number of storms beginning to develop. And so anywhere from middle of August right through the month of September, we can expect things to get very, very busy. We expect a, a very active season and has all the hallmarks of it. So get ready. Things are about to really pick up out in the tropics. Back home, no real changes here. Things are just staying really hot. There are some small rain chances over the weekend. Maybe a shower or two is possible, but it won't be anything too uh, significant. Same deal next week, but by about the middle and end of the week, we're finally getting at least some decent rain chances, some scattered rain chances by Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. So hopefully that'll help us out a little bit. But you notice the temperatures, we just can't seem to shake these mid to upper 90s. It will continue to remain very hot.